Who doesn't want a glowing skin, a healthy skin? We all would go to any lens to achieve that. I don't know if I have a glowing skin or not, but all these years I have never suffered from any major skin issues or breakouts. I may be genetically blessed, I may be simply lucky. But today I am going to be sharing with you people my skincare tips which I have followed for so many years. So hello everyone, this is Dr. Anjali Kumar once again bringing you greetings from Maitri. Maitri is a space where we talk anything and everything about women's health. Most importantly, the healthy skin comes from within. It glows when it is nourished from inside. It is certainly not dependent upon some expensive skin treatments, some exotic quick fix diets or some fancy supplements. The most important is diet. I'm almost a vegan and a teetotaler. The only non-vegan temptation I have is to have my two cups of Adrak Wali Chai and I try and put only two teaspoonful of milk in each cup. That's my only dairy intake. And sorry, no alcohol, no smoking. Alcohol gives you just neat calories and smoking. Most of the studies have said that smoking is associated with higher risk of acne. 73% of those people have incidence of acne. Learn to differentiate between dead and live foods. The package of chips or cookery or cookies or chocolates or ice cream or maybe the street chole bhature or golgappas might give you an instant high but we all know, we all have experienced how our stomach feels the next day after having those golgappas and how our skin breaks out the next day. Remember, the food which you eat from a packet no longer remains the food. It is actually the product from a company. It's not that I don't attend parties or I don't have my share of temptations, but I try to be mindful of my portions and I try to compensate the next day with my exercise. I actually have a sweet tooth and I actually love to end my dinner with either dates or raisins and mangoes in summers. The next most important thing is stay hydrated. Drink lots of water. It may be just water, it could be fruits, smoothies, soup, infused water, green tea. Water actually is required to maintain the suppleness and the turgicity of the cells and it actually helps to flush out the toxins from the body. One small yoga tip from my side which I learnt in my yoga class, try and have at least 1.5 to 2 litres of hot water, hot as in teapot, hot every day. Sleep. Sleep is the time when most of the repair work in the body happens, including your skin. Sleep which is deep, which is adequate, not erratic, according to your circadian rhythm, will do wonders to your skin. We all have seen how haggard the skin looks when we have been up the whole night. People working in night shifts, students studying the whole night maybe even spending time on the unproductive social media. Imagine happening this to your skin every day. I have seen this on my skin when I have been up the whole night doing an emergency surgery or maybe even delivering a baby. I can't help it with my profession, but for all of you who can help it, never compromise on your sleep. Remember, that's why it is called the beauty sleep. Exercise. It improves the circulation. We all have seen how flushed and happy our face looks after the exercise. It removes the toxins from the body. Medically, obviously it reduces the weight, it tones up your body, it improves the insulin resistance, it decreases the acne, hirsutism. It is known to release the happy hormones in the body. So see what works for you. For me, it is yoga, walking, 
Trekking in the hills. I actually love mountains. See what works for you. It could be a swimming class, dancing class, it could be a gymming session. But remember, never do over exercise. You don't have to kill yourself for the exercise. Remember, you should feel happy after doing the exercise. It has to be moderate, consistent and obviously something which makes you happy. Stress is bad for you, bad for your skin. We all have seen how our skin breaks out just before an important office presentation or just before our important exam. So do everything and anything to take care of that stress. It could be yoga, pranayam, meditation, nature walks, hiking, swimming class, dancing class, maybe just sitting with your friends and family. Do anything which makes you feel happy, not just the Netflix or Instagram or the Facebook. Now coming to my skincare routine. As I'm not very comfortable eating lot of processed and packaged foods, I'm not very happy using lot of products also on my face. I might sound very old fashioned, but I try and like it to be minimal. I have a dry skin. So in the morning, I wash my face with a mild face wash, followed by a antioxidant serum on my face. And then I apply a little compact or maybe a light foundation whenever I step out of the house. So I use it as a physical sunblock. Unfortunately, I'm allergic to most of the sunscreens. But remember, using a sunscreen is a very important part of the skin care. So please use a sunscreen based on your skin type. Even if you are not stepping out of the house, it's a good idea to put a sunscreen on your face. When I come back in the evening from the clinic or the hospital, I once again wash my face with a mild face wash. I always use cold water on my face, never hot water, even in winters. I don't use any toners or astringent. Then I like to massage my face with good old Nivea cream or sometimes coconut oil. I hardly use any makeup, maybe a little compact foundation or sometimes an eyeliner. So I actually use my face wash only to wash it off, but you can also use coconut oil as a makeup remover too. I uh, like to exfoliate my skin only once or twice in a week. I sometimes use a chickpea flour and uh, I add little haldi to it and little coconut oil and nicely massage and exfoliate my skin with that. And sometimes I also use a mixture of granulated sugar and little uh, lemon juice. Now a small word about the products. You have to be always very careful and mindful when you buy your products. Always make sure that your products are alcohol-free, paraben-free, fragrance-free. Remember, the fancier and the most expensive may not be really the better. Also remember, the labels on the products like dermatologically tested, dermatologically approved, clinically approved, hypoallergenic or natural are not really the labels which are approved by FDA. So please be careful when you buy your products. Remember, the best makeup is the glow which comes from within. The best accessory is the smile which says that you are healthy. Most important, learn to accept the imperfections in your body. Nobody can have a picture perfect skin, whether it is the color of the skin or the moles or the freckles, the lines or the wrinkles on the face. Be grateful, learn to accept all of them. It shows when you are comfortable with your skin. So today's video was little different, but today if you found this information useful, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to Metri. I hope you are liking what we are doing in our PCOS series. So please share it with your friends and families. And do not forget to follow us on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter and I will see you soon.